Today I wanted to share with you a new edition of a great book, Hope with Eating Disorders by Lynn Crilly. Now this is a second edition of a book that was originally published in 2012 and the first edition was great. The second edition is absolutely fantastic. So Hope with Eating Disorders is kind of what it says on the tin. It's a book that brings hope. It's designed for parents, carers, other adults who are supporting someone with an eating disorder. And important to note that this doesn't doesn't only look at supporting a young person with an eating disorder, this would be helpful if you're supporting anyone of any age and any gender um, suffering with any kind of eating disorder. That's one of the things that this um, edition of the book has really done, is opened out looking at things like over-exercise, looking at eating disorders in males as well as females, and also looking at eating disorders kind of across the ages, and looking at the whole range of eating disorders as we now understand them, because the diagnostic criteria were updated a few years ago um, and we are constantly learning more about how to support things like binge eating disorder for example which wasn't formally recognized until relatively recently. It's hard to imagine that really now isn't it? So this is written by a wonderful lady called Lynn Crilly. Now Lynn has uh, twin daughters one of whom suffered with an eating disorder and like many people who find themselves in the situation of parent or carer for someone with an eating disorder. Uh, Lynn was looking for, for input, for support, for help. Um, and back at the time, there was not as much as there is now. And Lynn's life work really has turned into understanding and supporting people in a similar situation to herself. Um, she now has both professional as well as personal experience of working uh, with eating disorders and a whole range of uh, different mental health issues. And one of the things that makes this book so helpful is that she really beautifully combines both her personal and, and often difficult experience of loving someone with an eating disorder with also very kind of, there's a lot of very knowledge rich material um, within the book to really help improve your understanding. Now it's not a dry um, book so sometimes you will read a book about eating disorders or another mental health issue and there's lots and lots of information in there um, but you don't really get a feel for what that looks like day to day or you can't understand how you would apply that in your normal life. This isn't like that. There's lots of information in here for sure um, and if there's a particular issue you want specific information on it will be in here. But the whole thing is brought to life with Lynn's personal experience and the experience of the many people that can, she consulted with whilst putting the book together, which does also include quite a lot of input from her daughter as well. You feel this is a really kind of um, collaborative uh, project. And her daughters, in fact, both daughters are completely on board with um, and uh, support the work, which again is really nice because you get the input there from the person who has um, suffered and struggled with these issues. Um, and you can hear things from their point of view, which can really help. Eating disorders are incredibly complex issues and it can be so hard to understand the motivations behind the different uh, behaviours that we see um, and it can be really hard as someone who is supporting not to attach all sorts of thoughts and feelings of our own to those behaviours and actually hearing firsthand um, from the person who's suffering can help us to realise that sometimes what we're seeing isn't quite as it appears or that um, sometimes the people that we love the most are the ones that we can be quite difficult with for example. It's quite a personal one for me because having had um, many many years suffering with eating disorders I can kind of also see it from both points of view and when I think sometimes about the um, yeah the behaviours um, that my eating disorders have driven me to and how I've treated the people that I really love around me it's hard not to feel some sort of shame or anguish about that but again that's something this book does really well it kind of tries to look at this calmly objectively and just to aid understanding rather than loading guilt or shame or any of those other really difficult feelings. Um, the, in terms of the content, um, so you can see it's quite quite a big book, but you wouldn't necessarily kind of sit down um, and read it in one go. Although sometimes when you're desperate for information, having this, you know, having something like this as a bit of a Bible um, would be really helpful. Um, but the in terms of the, the content, so we've got kind of what is an eating disorder, looking at the different ranges of eating disorders. Then um, the chapters look at sort of well-being, when we've got comorbidity, comorbidity with other issues. Um, 
and then really helpful, the later chapters I found to be particularly helpful. So thinking about um, your relationships, how this works at home, um, then thinking about the workplace um, and school, um, and also about exercise and sport, which is something that people have um, lots and lots of questions about. How can we um, use exercise as a healthy tool rather than as a part of the eating disorder? So. Basically, long and short, would I recommend it? I absolutely would. If you are supporting someone who is uh, struggling with an eating disorder and you want to understand more um, and you want to feel less alone, then this is a fantastic book. Um, it's absolutely full of information and ideas and it's really, really practical too. Like with anything, what you need to do is to use this as a starting point for your conversations, for your thinking and use it to empower you in the support that you give to someone that you care about rather than necessarily seeing it as a one size fits all solution because eating disorders are more complex than that. But yes, I absolutely think it's, it's worth investing in. And actually, if you already have the original first edition, I do think there's significant um, additional material in this second edition um, so it would be worth investing in in buying the updated edition if this is a particular area of interest or concern. So yes I hope that was helpful do let me know if there are other books you would like to hear me tell you about.